Hey guys, my name is Owen Melvin and today I'm excited to introduce you to my new tutorial series on how to design a responsive blog website using HTML, CSS and just a little bit of jQuery. We are not going to use any CSS libraries for our design, we are just going to use raw CSS and I'm going to explain every step of the way. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through a demo of the website we are going to build and then the upcoming episodes we are going to start building this website from scratch. So the website has a navigation bar consisting of a logo to the left and a navigation menu to the right. When the user hovers on the logged in user's username there is a drop down and this drop down has a link to the dashboard, the admin dashboard which I'm going to show you very soon. And there is also a logout link in case the user wants to log out of our application. Then down here we have a horizontal carousel displaying a list of trending posts on our website. The user can navigate through these posts by clicking the next and the previous button. Or they can simply click on a post and drag it to the left or to the right. So we scroll down again to the middle of the web page and we have a list of the recent posts on our website together with their titles, the publication date, the author and a read more button. So a user can view more about the page, about the, the full blog post by clicking on the read more button. Here we have a search box where they can search on our website. We have a list of the topics under which the posts are created. Then we scroll right to the bottom of the web page and we have a footer with three sections. One of them being uh, information about the blog, having some links to the various social media pages associated with the blog. And then the center here we have some quick links to several pages on the website. And now in the left, in the right here, we have uh, a contact us form where a user can send a quick email to, to the administrators of the blog. Lastly, right under here, we have the copyright information. So this is basically the front end section of the website. I talked about uh, visiting a single page to view more about the posts. So you can click on the post title It will take you to a single post page and this is where you read the whole post. Uh, and just in case you're curious guys, this is actually a post I published on my blog pieceofadvice.org. You can check it out, I will provide a link in the description below. And in the right sidebar here, I have embedded a Facebook page. This is actually my page but if you are building a blog such as this one, you can create an associated page and embed it in your, in your sidebar so that your users can like your page without necessarily needing to open Facebook. Then down here in the sidebar we have a list of popular blog posts. We have the topics and that's it for the single page. In the navigation bar they, there are links to the login and the sign up page. So we we'll click on sign up and it takes us to the register page and there is also a link to the login page. So that's it about the front end of the website. Let's test responsiveness of the, on the, of the website. You can see that every section of the website is responsive. If you continue to minimize it, just take a look at the navigation menu. If you minimize it and shrink it and shrink it, you'll notice that at one point the navigation menu disappears and is replaced by a menu icon. And when the user clicks on that icon, it expands and displays the navigation menu. And when you scroll down, you will see how several sections of the web page have adjusted to the width of the page, including the footer. So if you compress the screen size further, at one point, this is how the post will be displayed. 
is still responsive, including the footer. If you continue to compress, you will see now that it, one post at a time is being displayed in the trending posts. Our navigation bar remains responsive. And uh, that's it. The footer is also responsive. If you want to view a single post page to see whether it's responsive also, you can visit it. And you notice that it's also responsive. Okay, and you can see that's all about the public section of the website. Now let's view the dashboard. You can go to the dash dashboard, provided the logged in user is the admin user. They can visit the dashboard by hovering on their username and then clicking on the dashboard link. This takes the user at once to the manage posts page in the dashboard. You can view a list of all their posts that have been published on your website alongside the usernames, the authors of those posts. And then against each post, we have the edit, the delete and the publish button. You can publish a post, delete a post, edit a post by clicking on the edit button. It takes you to the edit post page. We have a good text editor here where you can start your text. You can make it bold, make it heading and so on. And then you can also go to the add post page. By clicking on the add post button, select the topic of your post and so on. Now let's move to the topics and click on the manage topics link here and it's pretty much the same as the user so I'm not going to waste time on it. You go to manage users and these are the list of users. You can create another admin user by clicking on the add user button and then selecting the admin, the admin option in the row. So that's it guys, let's head back to the public section and that's all about the demo of the website. Yeah, so I have a few things to say about this tutorial and the YouTube channel in general. First of all, this tutorial, this tutorial is actually preparing, we are actually preparing a web, a web template that we are going to use in future projects. For example, very soon I'm going to publish another series in which I will use this template and then the PHP language to make the template dynamic as in to make it, a, make it an actual website where information is stored in the database and users actually register and their accounts are saved and so on. So if you're watching this from the future, then I would have added links to the playlist for such videos in the description of this video. So I'm going to make the website dynamic using PHP. Then I'll publish another series of videos using Laravel, using the same template we are, we are building in this uh, series to make the website dynamic. Then uh, at, a, at a future time, I will venture into JavaScript where I use uh, frameworks and libraries such as React.js to build the front end and Express and Node.js for the back end. Then possibly I'll venture into Flask and Django, the two Python frameworks, and we'll work on the same website. So you should just check the description section of this video. I may have I may have uh, published the series, the playlist already, and their links are available there. So secondly, I want to announce a new website I am building. I will also be having written versions of these tutorials and a few other services such as one-on-one uh, -on -one work. If you want me to work with you on a project, you can contact me there. I will provide, a, I will announce it when the website has been developed because it's still in the development stages. And the next thing I want to say is about this channel and about supporting this channel. If you like the work I have been doing and you are interested in seeing more of such content with improved quality, then you can support this channel. And seriously, I need your support if I'm going to continue uh, 
if I'm going to continue producing content that is of high quality and the best way you can support the absolute best way you can support is sharing this channel share the channel share the videos recommend the channel to your friends to your classmates if you're a student to your colleagues and to everybody you know is into programming and whom you know these videos can help when you do that you also help me it encourages me very much secondly you can subscribe and make sure you click on that bell when you subscribe so that when when i upload videos you get notified instantly you can also like my videos if you enjoyed watching them and leave a comment the next way you can support is to purchase through affiliate links because once in a while i'll leave affiliate links in the description section of the video the links usually i usually send you links to uh, tutorials to paid tutorials on web development and usually when you buy using any of these links i will be given a commission so doing that is a great help it's a great support also and then another very generous way you can help is by becoming a patreon so when you become a patreon it encourages me quite a lot then lastly you can drop ideas in the comment sections ideas about improving the channel ideas about improving the video quality the audio quality ideas about new tutorials to make and so on i'll be reading i'll try to read every single comment and uh, possibly respond to it lastly uh the most audacious of all my goals this year well i say audacious i say daring but they are not they are not actually as daring as i would have wanted them to be this video i am recording it in the last day of february 2019 and uh, i am expecting or i am targeting that by the end of this year i should have 50,000 subscribers currently i have 16,300 which means I'm hoping to uh, multiply that number by three by the end of this year. And the Patreons, I'm hoping that uh, by the end of this year, I would have, by the end of this year, I would have convinced at least 30 people to, to, to see a need to voluntarily help me for the work that I do. That is, I would have produced uh, videos with enough quality and that serve my users and give them enough satisfaction to be willing to pay me voluntarily for them. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I count on your support to continue to upload these videos. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and i will see you in the comment sections thank you and have a great day